Paul Manafort, the former chairman of Donald Trump's campaign, has been jailed for nearly four years for bank and tax fraud uncovered during the special counsel investigation into Russian election interference. Wearing a green prison jumpsuit, Manafort sat still in a wheelchair and betrayed little emotion as the U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis of the Eastern District of Virginia pronounced the sentence, which will be partially offset by nine months already served. Mr. Manafort, you stand accused of very serious crimes, said Ellis, noting that these included concealing $6 million from the Internal Revenue Service. In essence, that's a theft of money from everyone who pays their taxes. The sentence was far shy of federal sentencing guidelines, which call for 19 and a half to 24 years in prison for these types of offenses. Ellis described the guidelines as excessive and out of whack, saying Manafort had no prior criminal history and had lived an otherwise blameless life. The judge acknowledged, I don't expect the sentence I'm about to announce to meet with everyone's approval. He told Manafort, life is making choices, Mr. Manafort, and living with the choices you make. You made choices and engaged in criminal conduct, and there will be consequences for that decision. The judge also chided Manafort, not for expressing regret in a statement he made to the court minutes earlier. You did not say, I really, really regret not doing what the law required. It will not affect that sentence I impose, but I hope you will reflect on that. Dot in a hushed, packed courtroom, with the clock closed to 7 p.m., Ellis then handed down concurrent sentences totaling 47 months for the eight charges on which the veteran Republican political consultant was convicted in Alexandria, Virginia, last August. But he said Manafort would receive credit for the nine months he has already spent incarcerated. The judge imposed a fine of $50,000 on Manafort, who still owns a house in Alexandria, worth about $3 million, and another in Palm Beach, Florida, worth an estimated $1. 25 meters, noting that he was already obliged to pay restitution of $24 million to his victims. I think what I've done is sufficiently punitive. Outside of the courtroom, Ellis's ruling and his comments that Manafort had lived an otherwise blameless life drew sharp criticism. I've rarely been more disgusted by a judge's transparently preferential treatment to a rich white guy who betrayed the law and the nation, tweeted Lawrence Tribe, a constitutional law professor at Harvard. A federal judge in Virginia gave Paul Manafort less prison time for eight counts of bank fraud, tax fraud, and failing to file a foreign bank account report than Crystal Mason got in Texas for voting once while on probation. America, noted the writer Jamal Smith. The 69-year-old was convicted after prosecutors accused him of hiding from the U.S. government millions of dollars he earned as a consultant for Ukraine's former pro-Russia government. After the pro-Kremlin Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych was ousted, prosecutors said Manafort lied to banks to secure loans and maintain an opulent lifestyle with luxurious homes, designer suits and even a $15,000 ostrich skin jacket.